The long money strategy credit repair. If you wanted to know how to build a pipeline that keeps paying dividends, you're listening to the right episode of the Loan Officer Leadership Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Kyles. We're powered by the mortgage marketing animals, Frank and Kristen. We have a great topic today. Mm -hmm. um, and on the Loan Officer Breakfast Club, it's something that Carl brought up yesterday. And man, the comments behind it were just so many. We said, look, let's jump on a quick podcast and let's talk about a long money strategy. What do we do with people who don't qualify today? What a great topic. It's an awesome I, topic. Yeah, it's an important topic. It, it doesn't get brought up enough, really, right? Because I think a lot of times when we get that borrower in our hands, who, oh, darn it, credit issue or whatever the case may be, can't really handle them now. What do we do with them? Where do they go? Now, sometimes we slide them into, we have a credit repair relationship with some credit repair company and we, you know, slide them over there. But then even, what do we do? Yeah. Right. It's a great I question to talk about. I got my thoughts on it. Kristen, what, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah. I mean, I think that this is a great topic, especially right now. And um, you can really get caught up in spending a lot of time in something in the moment. Mm. Yeah, well, hey, you know having, what? You're, having a strategy, having a plan around this. A hundred percent. Hey, let, let me tell you a true stat. So we have shared pre-approval. I'm a producing branch manager, which our listeners know, but we have shared pre-approval and dedicated pre-approval specialists that help our loan officers do the busy work on the front end. And I had Danelle, she said, Hey, I'm I'm really fighting for time with my pre-approval specialist. She runs all runs them all. And Frank and Kristen, listen to this. We went back and measured how many over the year to date. So we're we're in several months into the year. 35% on average of every credit pool was what we call a no-go. Mm -hmm. 35%. It's a big number. It's a big well, and what's happening is the deals are getting more complicated. They're getting more complex. You're getting people with lower credit scores, more challenging files, challenging situations. And the question today is what do I do with the no-go? And it, it instead of just throwing it by the wayside, now here's what we got to do is we got to prioritize. So I'll tell you my thoughts first, and then Frank and Kristen, y'all y'all breathe in on that. But here's what we started doing. No goes, there's still an opportunity, but we call them, uh, it's a mortgage ready review. It's the same thing like a loan consultation. So remember, the process is loan consultations happen from two to four. And then if I need more slots than four a day, I open up 11 to 12, that gives me six. So if I get a client come in today and it's a no-go, hey, we don't neglect them. We just say, hey, you're super important to Mr. Realtor, Mrs. Realtor who referred you to us. We're going to work on a strategy and a plan to help you get mortgage ready. I'm going to move some things around. We do all of these at, at on Friday from two to four. How about two o'clock? How about 2.30? If I move some things around to make you a priority, it'll give me and my team enough time to help build you a credit plan on what to do to get, and we call it mortgage ready. And everybody loves it because the agent knows that we're not just throwing it by the wayside. Uh, and the client knows, hey, we're not just saying, oh my gosh, you don't qualify, but here's a legitimate plan that if you'll follow it over the next three, six, nine, 12 months, it's the long money play. And then they become a part of our follow-up. But instead of making a no-go a priority, we put no-goes on Friday because it tends to be the ebb and flow. Friday afternoons are lighter than a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And so it's a great strategy to take the no-goes, the 35% or more of your business that clogs up the speed of your process and really clutters your pre-approval specialist and your loan officers and it lets me focus on the green goes, the money right now. And then what if I got four already scheduled this week? It's okay. Then I put the next one to next Friday. Hey, right. listen, it's already a no-go. And look, hey, I want to move some things around. It's going to take us a week to put your stuff together. How about next Friday at 2, the next Friday at 2.30? And so we just keep them on Friday from 2 to 4. They're called mortgage ready. We love the phrasing of it. We call the agent partner. They're excited. At least we provided a solution. The client, and here's the deal, 25% of them will do it, but the ones that do it are long money that'll come in in three, six, nine, 12 months. Yeah, and the, the thing to remember too is, is when you, you know, when you 
when you talk to them on the Friday then, right, and you go over their plan, maybe you slip them into credit repair, whatever the case may be, they're going to have to do something. Something is holding them back from getting the, the, the loan today. It could be credit. It could be a job stability issue. It could be, right, it could be a, a debt situation. They have to pay something down. It could be anything and any, everything, right? But I think what's really important too, Steve, is to remember that those people, even though they are not mortgage ready today, yes, they right, they are connected still to plenty of friends, family, and coworkers who could be mortgage ready today. Yes, and so after we have that mortgage ready uh, consultation with them, give them their plan, lay it out. I think it's super important to get them on the follow up plan at least probably every thirty days. Hey, how's it going? How's the plan coming? Hey, while I got you on the phone, any friends, family, or coworkers that might be looking to buy, sell, or refi, right? Because they're a database in themselves, just like anybody else. Just because they have a job stability problem doesn't mean all their friends, family, and coworkers have a job stability problem. They don't, right? That's it. They're still looking to buy a home. They still have that thing going on where they're thinking about it, right? And on that Friday, are you giving them an actionable plan, Steve? Yes. Yeah, we are. So we actually do. It's a credit simulator and we literally put together if you pay this off, if you do this, like there's literally ways that inside of wherever you review credit, you can adjust it. It'll give you simulators on how to help them get their credit scores higher. Now, complicated, send it to a credit repair. Um, but what we do as an internal team is it it, it takes I don't know, 15 minutes to put together a quick plan. And then they've got a clear strategy. Hey, and I want to give a shout out to Jason Wagner, one of our Freedom Club members. Uh, we were in Puerto Rico uh, just, I don't know, a couple of months ago, and he kept telling me, Steve, bro, you got to check out what I'm doing with Haymarket and all of these automated text. Um, and so like, what's really cool on a mortgage ready, literally my team met with him last week and they've been dialing in these automated texts, but what you can do like on this mortgage ready is you don't even have to be thoughtful about your follow-up you set up in your CRM, in your texting software, whatever you're using or in outlook, if you don't have anything set up that every 30 days, just send a follow-up text or follow-up phone call and you can automate the follow-up. Hey, how's the credit, uh, you know, the mortgage ready. We gave you a plan. How's everything moving along? And you can do it in such a way where you're not even having to do a lot of proactive activity. You hit them every 30 days. And these people are grateful when you do. I was just going like, to say, got a client for life. Dude, they're, they're like, I can't, I mean, let me just be candid. Most people would have, they know most people would have kind of pushed them off. And these people become raving fans. And I love that, Frank, just like you said, they got friends, family, coworkers, and they got agents um, that, and it's such a big, big, big deal. I was talking to one of my loan officers this last week in that situation. Um, they weren't ready, but they asked, Hey, tell me about like, give us a good word for your agent. It literally solidified that agent relationship because they took the extra time to give them a mortgage ready, uh, plan literally with 10 or 15 minutes of time. I mean, it's, it's not a time killer. It's just making it not a priority today, putting them in a process and then doing your follow-up. It's money, money, money on the long play. Yeah, it's exactly right, man. It's exactly right. And of course, like you just mentioned, there's always the touch the lead, touch the partner scenario as well. I mean, if every 30 days you're, you're touching base with them, uh, getting you know a mortgage, a mortgage ready person and yeah. having a quick chat with them or whatever. And then you get to go back to the partner again and say, Hey, Remember those people? Yes. We're still talking to them. Yes. They're, they're still interested. They've got things going on. Hey, before I let you go, anybody else I can help you with this week? That's right. It. So it's just hey, another Frank, reason. What do they say? The that agent says, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about them. Totally. Thank you for rem- re- like, my gosh, right. I totally forgot. And yeah. what happens is you're, it goes back to telling them, look, we not only close on time, we have clear communication, but our follow-up, which was number three is second to none. You're not even saying it. They're experiencing it because you touch the lead, touch the partner. And they're like, dude, nobody else is calling me, reminding me to follow up on leads that'll ultimately turn into money. Yeah. That were something I gave you three months ago. Right. It's a, it's a super simple strategy. So good stuff. I love it. I love these topics, girl. You, you were, (laughs) you were the queen of bringing and just pulling it out. You're like, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. Um, I so think thank that you it's the voice of the people. It's the, the people. voice of the people. The <laughs> voice of the people. They have spoken. <laughs> have spoken. <laughs> hey, well, listen, if you're not a part of Loan Officer Breakfast Club, we want to invite you to do that. Join us. Uh, Frank Gray is uh, our 
I don't know what do you call it, a maestro. You're the coordinator. You're the the QB of the team. Who runs the mornings. He's what? The, the captain. Yeah, the, the captain knucklehead the in charge. Ship. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I right, matey, let's go. And so, uh, <laughs> hey, every eight thirty to nine a.m. on Eastern Time, go to loanofficerbreakfastclub.com. If you're not already joining us there, we'd love for you to do that. Uh, man, we have such a great time Monday through Thursday. It's truly the best way to start your week with, man, hundreds of loan officers across the country who are sharing ideas that are moving the needle today. We have conversations like this just every single day. So join us. Hey, if you say, I don't have a plan, I need a strategy. How do I get back to the numbers I used to have? Go to freedomplanningcall.com. We'd love to help you myself. Kristen, heck, even Frank and Ralph and Mike, one of us will jump on a call with you, give you a plan. It's our gift to you in this industry, freedomplanningcall.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share the podcast with somebody else you know today needs to hear it. Remember this, anything we're doing is worth doing badly. Just get started. See you.